A tearful tribute tonight for the 11-year-old boy who died after collapsing at a track meet at Miami Northwestern Senior High. Those who knew him came together tonight to celebrate his life. Caleb Harris was only in the sixth grade. He collapsed while getting ready to warm up. His death leaves his family heartbroken and confused. And they are still waiting for autopsy results to show exactly how he died. Let's go to Local 10's Carlos Suarez, live now in Opalaca with tonight's vigil. Carlos. Calvin and Lori, for Harris's classmates, tonight's service offered them comfort and reassurance. For Harris's family, the service showed them just how much the school loved him and just how much they miss him. Under a light rain, family, friends, and loved ones release balloons into the night sky. An emotional moment that marked the end to an emotional memorial for 11-year-old Caleb Harris. Blue was his favorite color, and the girls danced to his favorite song, Take Me to the King. I don't know how you guys knew it, but... He is happy. The look on these children's faces said it all. They long for a friend gone too soon. Their emotions put into words was simple. We will miss you. Caleb was love. Caleb is love and we'll always carry him in our hearts. Harris died last week while at track practice. The sixth grader collapsed during a warm up and was rushed to a hospital, but there was nothing doctors could do. Cause I can't live without you. On Monday, a memorial took place for Harris at Florida International Academy in Opalaka. His parents watched on as teachers admired Harris for his dedication to family, friends, and his education. Whenever he wanted to answer a question, his hand would go flying in the air. He would even start waving his hand around like, you better pick on me because I'm going to get this answer. Perhaps the most poignant moment of the night was when Harris's classmates did their part to help a grieving family. One by one, they offered them money, an act that gave them a sense of purpose and an opportunity to honor their friend. And he will be missed, but to the family, he loves you. And may you find encouragement in knowing that he was a special one. God bless you. Caleb's family says that he loved, loved going to church and that he had dreams of growing up and becoming a pastor and that he was also quite vocal if the family missed more than one Sunday service. Barely a week into this and the family is still trying to make sense out of all this and they're still waiting on a cause of death. We are live tonight in Opalaka. I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News. So many